All right, let's dive in. Today, we're looking into Texting Factory. Okay. This platform claims you can make like three, four hundred bucks a week. Yeah. Just by texting people. Hmm. Sounds kind of too good to be true, right? Yeah. You know, we got a ton of questions from you guys about it. Right. And honestly, I'm curious too. We've dug up a bunch of YouTube reviews from people who've actually tried it. Interesting. So let's break down what they're saying. Okay. Yeah, that's a good place to start. Got to hear from those who've actually used it. Right? Exactly. Yeah. So first things first. Mm -hmm. What even is texting factory? How's this whole getting paid to text thing supposed to work? So basically, it's a platform connects these chat operators with clients who uh, they want to have conversations. Okay. But here's the catch. They call themselves a fantasy-based text network. Fantasy-based. All right, now you've got me really interested. Right. What does that even mean when we're talking about texting? So think of it like um, role-playing. Okay. The operators take on different personas, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're chatting with these clients who actually believe they're talking to someone real. Hmm. The whole point is to create this like specific experience for the client. Okay, that's that definitely adds a whole other layer to this. It does. Makes you think about like the psychology of it all. Right. And honestly, it makes me wonder if the clients are fully aware yes. of what they're actually paying for. Totally. Transparency and consent. Big things to consider here. For sure. But let's uh let's get to the money part. Yeah. The earning potential. Right. Texting factory claims you can rake in 300 to 400 bucks a week. Yeah, that's the big selling point. Exactly. But what do the reviews say about that? Is it realistic? That's what we all want to know, yeah. right? Can you actually make that kind of money? Well, the reviews uh they tell a different story. Oh. Lots of users said they earned way less than what was advertised. Huh. Like one person said they worked 10 hours a day, six days a week. Wow. And only made 100 bucks. That's a huge difference from 300 or 400. What about other reviewers? Do they have similar experiences? Yeah, pretty much. The trend seems to be much lower earnings than promised. Hmm. Another reviewer, they calculated their rate, and it came out to about 30 bucks. Right. For 770 messages. Wow. And some people even said they were only making like $1 or $2 an hour. All right, so the earnings are definitely not living up to the hype here. Nope. What else did these reviews highlight? Were there any other like problems or red flags? Oh, definitely. Payment issues seem to be a big one. Really? Yeah. A lot of reviewers said their payments were delayed mm. or even missing altogether. That's not good. Which, you know... Makes you wonder about how legit this platform really is. Yeah, if you're not even sure you're going to get paid. Right. That's a big red flag. Huge red flag. Did the reviewers mention anything else that stood out? Oh, yeah. Okay. They were really frustrated with the lack of support. Ah, uh, yeah. From, like, the coaches and the support team in general. Mm -hmm. They felt ignored. Basically left to figure everything out on their own. Yeah. Bad support can really ruin a platform. Totally. It makes you wonder about like the whole structure of the company, you know? Right. Like, are they actually organized and professional? Exactly. If they're not there to help their users, yeah, that doesn't give you much confidence. Not at all. And it's not just about answering questions or fixing glitches. Right. It's about building a community, you know, providing guidance, especially for people who are new to this kind of work. Absolutely. Speaking of guidance, you know, I actually came across something that I think would be really helpful. Oh, what's that? For anyone looking to build a real online income. Okay. Have you heard of BrianGarvin.com? I don't think so. It's Brian with an I. Okay. And he has this awesome free guide uh -huh. called 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. Interesting. It's like over 12,300 words. Wow. Packed with info on building a successful online business. Sounds pretty comprehensive. You can find the link in his YouTube bio. Okay. And it's totally free. Just put in your name and email. Easy enough. And then click the verification link they send you. Got it. What I thought was really interesting about it yeah. is that he focuses on building a real sustainable business, mm -hmm. not just these quick schemes. Right, the get rich quick stuff. Exactly, which might not even pay off in the end. Yeah, that's a really important point to make. And in the case of Texting Factory, you mm -hmm. know, those reviews are already throwing up red flags oh. about, you know, whether they're reliable and if you could actually make any real money. It's definitely looking questionable. So what else did you find in the reviews? Uh, any of the concerns that popped up? Several people mentioned sudden account shutdowns. What? Yeah, just like that. No warning. No explanation. Wow. Imagine putting in all this time and effort, yeah. and then suddenly 
your account's gone. And you have no idea why. No recourse. That would be so frustrating. Extremely frustrating. And honestly, <laughs> I don't... That shit. It does seem suspicious. Yeah. Like, what could the reason even be for that? Unfortunately, the reviews didn't really say why it was happening. Hmm. But it definitely raises concerns well, sure. about how transparent and fair this platform really is. Yeah, it makes you wonder what's going on behind the scenes. Definitely. And speaking of things that aren't very clear, yeah, a lot of reviewers pointed out that the company itself isn't very transparent. Oh, interesting. There's not much info out there about them. Okay, so that's a little concerning. Right. When a company doesn't want to share much about its background, leadership, or how they operate, yeah. it can make potential users feel uneasy. Totally, totally. Like, what are they hiding? Right. Exactly. And to add to that, some reviewers even questioned those testimonials on Texting Factory's website. Really? Yeah. They thought some of them might be fake. Oh. Or exaggerated. That's not good. If those testimonials aren't even real, right. that totally undermines their credibility. It does. People need to see honest feedback to make an informed decision. Absolutely. And there's one last thing I want to bring up okay. that really caught my attention. What is it? It's about the payment platform. Okay. Texting Factory uses a platform called BitSafe to process payments. BitSafe. I haven't heard of that. Yeah, and that in itself is kind of red flag, right? It is. When a company uses a payment platform that's not well known right. or that doesn't have a great reputation, yeah. it makes you wonder about security and transparency. For sure. And some people even speculated that Texting Factory and BitSafe might be connected somehow, uh -huh. which you know just adds another layer of uncertainty to the whole thing. That's a good point. It really shows how important it is to do your research oh, yeah. before you sign up for anything online. Absolutely. And speaking of research, yeah. remember that guide I mentioned? The super affiliate one? Yeah, 10 steps to becoming a super affiliate. Yeah. BrianGarvin.com, Brian with an I. It's a great place to start if you're serious about making money online the right way. That makes sense. Especially considering what we're learning about Texting Factory. Right. All these red flags are making me think, this might not be all it's cracked up to be. Yeah, it's starting to sound like a bit of a minefield. So let's shift gears a little bit. Okay. What do these reviews tell us about the platform as a whole? Hmm. What's the big picture here? I mean, from these reviews, yeah. it's pretty clear Texting Factory isn't quite what they make it out to be, the yeah. earning potential, yeah. way lower than they advertise. Right. And all these red flags about payments, support, transparency. Mm -hmm. It's definitely not looking good. Right. So maybe not a total scam, Well, but probably not the road to riches they promise either. Yeah, I'd agree with that. But to be fair, mm -hmm. some people did say they got paid really that. That's true. Some folks are making a little bit of money. Okay. But with the low earnings and all these concerns, yeah. I'd say be super cautious. All right. It's oh. tempting to jump in when you hear about easy money. Totally. But no. got to weigh the risks, right? Absolutely. You know, this whole thing makes me think bigger picture. Oh, what do you mean? Well, if texting factory isn't the answer, yeah. what are some other ways to make money online? Right, right. The reviewers mentioned a few things like customer support jobs, uh, starting an online business, yeah. or freelance digital marketing. That's interesting. What are your thoughts on those? Those are good options for sure. Yeah. They seem much more, you know. Legitimate. Definitely. Legitimate, sustainable, yeah. Let's dig into those a little more. Okay, yeah, let's start with customer support. Right. Seems like that's pretty popular these days. It is. What exactly does that involve? Basically, you're helping customers right. through phone, email, or online chat. Got it. It's super important for a lot of companies. I could see that. And they're always looking for good people. So it's kind of like Texting Factory. And it will... You're chatting with people online. Right. But no role playing. No. And hopefully better pay, right? Definitely. And more reliable companies too. Okay, that makes sense. You're actually helping people mm -hmm. with real problems. Yeah. And these companies are usually well-established, reputable. So not fly-by-night operations. Not at all. Yeah. And you can learn valuable skills, you know? Like what? Communication, problem solving, customer service. That's awesome. It's a good option if you like helping people yeah. and can handle a fast-paced environment. I can see that. Now, what about starting an online business? That's always intrigued me. Yeah. But seems kind of daunting, honestly. I get it. What are the big things to consider? First thing, yeah. find something you're passionate about. Okay. Something that fills a need. Like what? Could be anything, really. Right. Selling crafts, mm. online courses, consulting. That's so many options. Tons of possibilities. Like, where do you even start? Research and planning. 
Got to figure out your target market. Right. Understand their needs uh -huh. and have something unique to offer. What about the business side of things? Definitely important. Yeah. You need a solid plan mm -hmm. and a good marketing strategy. And building an online presence. Exactly. Right? Social media, SEO, email marketing, all that. It's a lot to handle. It is. But it can be really rewarding, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. You're your own boss. Set your own hours. Yeah. Create something you believe in. That's powerful. It is. And it's worth exploring if mm -hmm. you're driven and entrepreneurial. All right. So we've got customer support. Yeah. Online business. Mm -hmm. What was the third one? Freelance digital marketing. Oh, right. Huge shield, growing fast. It seems like it's everywhere these days. It is. What exactly is involved in that? Helping businesses promote themselves online. Okay. Could be social media marketing, mm -hmm. content creation, SEO, paid ads, email marketing, all sorts of things. So if you're good at writing, design, or marketing, yeah. you can do that freelance. Absolutely. Huge demand for skilled digital marketers. Interesting. And it's always changing. Keeps you on your toes. It does. Good option if you're tech savvy, mm -hmm. creative, and like working independently. And there are resources to learn, right? Tons of them. Okay, cool. Online courses, tutorials, communities, you name it. You know, this whole conversation about online businesses, yeah. digital marketing, doing things the right way, mm -hmm. it reminds me of Brian Garvin again. Brian with an I? Yes. BrianGarvin.com. Okay. His website is a goldmine for anyone serious about making money online. What stood out to you about it? Well, he offers this free guide, uh -huh. 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate, Right. over 12,300 words of advice wow. on building a real online income. I'll have to check that out. You can find the link in his YouTube bio. Okay. Totally free. Just enter your name and email. Easy. And then click the verification link. Got it. It's amazing that he gives all this info away for free. It is. Really shows he wants to help people succeed. Unlike some platforms right. that prioritize profits over, you know, transparency and user experience. Exactly. Okay, so back to Texan Factory for a second. Okay. Let's talk about the ethical side of things. Yeah, that's important. What stood out to you in the reviews? Well, this whole fantasy-based text network thing. Yeah. It makes me wonder about authenticity and consent. I see what you mean. Do the clients know it's role-playing? Right. And is it okay for operators to profit from that? Those are good questions. It's a gray area for sure. It is. These platforms need to be transparent. Agreed. Make sure everyone's informed and consenting. Absolutely. Transparency and ethics should be a priority. Especially when it comes to personal interactions and money. So what are the key takeaways here? From all of this? Yeah, if we're looking for legitimate, ethical ways to make money online. Right. I think the biggest takeaway is research, research, research. Yeah. You can't just believe what a platform tells you. Right. Got it dig deeper. Look for those independent reviews. Exactly. Be on the lookout for red flags. It's so easy to get caught up in the excitement. Oh, cool. When something sounds amazing. Yeah. But you gotta be skeptical. Be smart about it. And remember, there are legit ways to make money online. Yeah. You don't have to settle for these shady platforms. Right. Or places that make crazy promises. Those other options we talked about? Mm -hmm. Customer support, online business, freelance digital marketing. Yeah. Those are much better. They're more ethical, mm -hmm. more sustainable. And you can learn real skills. Exactly. Build a good reputation. That matters in the long run. It's about investing in yourself, creating something you're proud of. It makes me think about that guide again. The super affiliate one. Yeah. 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. BrianGarvin.com. Brian with an I. Right. Such a great resource. Hmm. Over 12,000 words of advice. Wow. On how to build a successful online business. We should definitely link that in the show notes. Yeah, sure. For our listeners. Great idea. Yeah. You can also find it in his YouTube bio. Okay. Just put in your name and email. Easy. Click the verification link they send you. Perfect. So as we wrap up this deep dive mm -hmm. on Texting Factory. Yeah. What are the key things you want listeners to remember? I hope they feel empowered to make good decisions yeah. about what they do online. Informed decisions. Right. We've looked at Texting Factory inside and out. Uncovered some red flags. Talked about some alternative. Some legitimate, more sustainable options. It's all about being informed. And I hope they realize how important research is. Absolutely. And critical thinking, ethical considerations. Yeah. The online world is huge. It's always changing. You have to be careful out there. You got to be smart, be a good consumer. And a good creator. Exactly. Take control of your online experience. Make choices that reflect your values. Find something that aligns with your goals. 
there are good ways to make money online. For sure. You don't have to fall for the shortcuts or the empty promises. It's about hard work, integrity. Building something real, something valuable. Who knows? Maybe our listeners will be sharing their own success stories someday. I love that. So to our listeners, thanks for joining us on this deep dive. We hope you found it helpful. Informative, empowering. Remember, you have the power to make good choices online. Create a great experience for yourself. And if you ever feel lost, don't hesitate to reach out. Find your community. Get advice from trusted sources. Never stop learning. Never stop growing. And speaking of trusted sources. Yes. Don't forget about BrianGarvin.com. Brian with an I. That's right. For that free guide, 10 Steps to Becoming a Super Affiliate. Sounds like a must read. You can find the link in his YouTube bio. Okay. Or in our show notes. Perfect. It's a game changer for sure. Until next time, stay curious, stay informed. Keep exploring. The online world is full of possibilities.